You know, I think people can misunderstand inspiration. It's what you're wired to do. A lot of times people dream about something, being great at something. But my question to you is, is it automatic to you? Is it something that you are attracted to like a magnet? Hey YouTube, in today's video, me and my dad will be detecting at what beach today? Gilgo Beach. I didn't know where the hell we were going. I, I just need to swing a detector. At Gilgo Beach. We'll be trying to find a few things. This poor kid, he's got to keep up with the madman. As much as we can before we can get home because we're not wearing any sunblock, so I can't get a sunburn like he usually does. In fairness, we woke up at 5 a.m. and uh, I, I didn't expect it to take a freaking hour to get breakfast. Mm. We, you don't like my farmer tan with the, uh, you, you know. Dude, it's a sunburn. You, you, the, the tan line though, there, there's like an art to it. It's like. Pasty you got a sunburn on your neck last year and this year. Yeah, but I, I, I like the, the solid line, you know, the, the red next to the white. You know, if I wore blue, I'd be like all American, red, white, and blue. Yeah, I sure know how to create silence in a conversation. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. What has this happened to me? As a father, it is my hope that he becomes a madman too. It doesn't have to be metal detecting. I think he really likes it now. I think that that is great. But I, I think what we need to do in our lives is see where the magnet pulls us. And we need to answer all of the questions that are in our heads. That's where I'm at right now with metal detecting. It's inspiring to me. And if you don't know what that is at this point in your life, you, you need to experiment more. You need to try new stuff. You need to see where that magnet is, what, what direction the magnet is pulling you in. Because when you get inspired, that's what causes happiness. You ready for the challenge? It's up to you to accept. I mean, we're here to have fun. That's the number one challenge. Number two, you think you could pull a dollar on your own? Sure. All right, man, let's do it. That's a quarter. Good start for the day. Sea junk that rings up at 11. Pull tab. My friend just recovered his first pull tab. Actually second. Oh, second. All right. You know, we say, uh, we say meh. It's kind of a, you know, it's ancient Armenian. It means I do not like this. Meh. Yeah, the ancient Armenians, uh, they, they said meh when they didn't like something. And uh, coincidence, I think not, that it's the first syllable in metal detecting. Meh. 14.15 in the wet. Piece of beach debris. Sea zinkin. Tell them. Pull tab number four. Keep going. I'd do some cherry picking if I were you. He's 11, and if you look really closely, he's half asleep right there. Poor guy. When you're beginning with uh, metal detecting, even digging up pull tabs, that is important. That's good. One, it helps you pinpoint the signal, and two, it helps you understand the target ID. You know, what not to dig and what to look for. Um, then again, a pull tab signal could very well be a ring signal. So the fact that he is, uh, you know, pulling those up shows me, and he got, he said he got four, shows me that he is starting to master uh, the uh, pinpointing aspect. The temperature got really, really hot on the beach, and uh, you know, uh, uh, don't force, dad, don't force. No, if he loves metal detecting, he's going to choose it for himself. It, the, the love for it is certainly going to be modeled by me, but that's his choice for himself, and I will support that. And I've actually become quite good at Mario Kart and Smash Brothers and the stuff that he likes to do. So, you know, being there, that's the most important thing. It's his choice, and I'm a freaking madman. So what, you know, what, it's tough to keep up with me. It really is. People call me Honey Badger. It is an ungodly hour. Let's go to the beach. I've had a bit of a ring slump happening and uh, I want to do something about that. So we are heading to low tide 
We are looking for beaches that we could get onto. Let go! Beautiful thing, just me and the stars. So this is a pretty decent tide that I'm going to right now. It's not a negative tide, but it is right at zero. So I should get uh, a pretty good look at the swim area. Let the beach pillaging begin. <laughs> Could have a really good signal right off the bat. Whoa! <laughs> Rogue wave. Really? Seriously? Oh, I th okay. This is not a good O. Oh, this is one of the hair clips that is not gold. I know it's, uh, you know, I know it looks gold right now, but uh, this is, uh, it's just a hair clip. Meh. Ah. Bummer. Getting a solid six here. Doesn't sound very big. Let's break out the pinpointer. Cam slow. Meh. Got a signal that's jumping around. And aluminum. Meh. I have a signal that is north of 30. Could be a cell phone. Or it could be a quarter, who knows. It is just an old, part of an old pipe, I guess. Beach Yunk, meh, meh. Nothing solid so far. Oh my God. Look at this. No, that's not a cell phone. These are the glass. You remember Carlos's glasses the other day? Well, I just found them. I mean, these are not his. But we got, what is this white stuff connected to it? It's like a sea barnacle. Get off sea barnacle. Ew. Gross. Um, yeah, man, I got glasses. Oh, these are, these are like, I'm gonna be the godfather in this. What? Hello. Godfather Maraluccio would like to make you an offer you can't refuse. Now, whenever I find glasses, it unlocks something obscure. It unlocks a beverage that is a delicacy in all parts of the world. Nantucket Nectar's Red Plum. Nectar's red plum has been unlocked. If you've never tried it, I wonder, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> Got what I think is my first coin. That's yeah, a vaping device. Meh. Blue moon. Hey, you know, I'm getting these signals that I usually see in the dry, in the low wet. That's, mm, I'd say that's never a good sign. Sunglasses number two. And the detector's red plum. All right, let's do some calculating here. Uh, it's a Sunday night, meaning that we had a packed beach all weekend, and I'm at a very populated place, and I still have not found a coin. And that goes to tell you how powerful the tides are on this beach, uh, because it really takes, oh, there we go. See, that's why the other reason I like doing this. Uh, it takes a real push in in order to get those coins. We are on the board, it's a dimmy and a bright one. Just spiraled out, we got a zinkin'. To this point, I have only been checking low and I'm still going back low. 
again surface area of rings not the same different weight yeah if we're speaking about gold different weight is a coin too so surface area weight if it's dropped in the water it's not going to move as much as a coin dimmy yeah the coins are more up just my two cents but i don't want zinkins man oh man this is not looking good I've been here for an hour. We're past half t uh, um, high tide right now. It's still relatively low. I'm thinking about bailing, but uh, I got my one dollar stupid rule. Ah, I, I'm I'm about to walk out on that because that's just ridiculous. The closest thing that I can do is walk the coin line, the low coin line that I found. I'm gonna give that maybe a hundred feet. Let's see what we get. And then number fifty. Oh, I was gonna leave. Listen, this is junk. This rang up just like a Zinkin. That's number 50. There we go, there we go. That was number 50. We are halfway to our goal of 100 rings this year. And by the power bestowed upon us by the Taco Bell flow chart, we have unlocked Taco Bell. 50. That just made the trip all worth it. Now, Okay, look at this. So, that's 21. Hmm. Uh, we will check for engravings. I wasn't even gonna dig this. I was about to say, oh, I'm not gonna dig no Zinkins, blah, blah, blah. This is a Zinkin ring. Oh man, holy cow. Taco Bell has been unlocked. That's what I'm talking about. We are officially halfway to our goal, and you know what? This actually has a little weight to it. I can't see anything right now, but uh, I'm very hopeful. That's got weight to it. Oh man, that just made this trip all worth it. Um, we are pretty high in the beach too, surprisingly. So let's, uh, I love this place, let's stay. We have an engraving on the ring. Well, you could see it a little bit there. I'll get you a better picture when we got better light. Looks like numbers. Okay. Yeah, there's something to this ring. That's awesome. Not sure what the other letters mean, but I saw a 925. That means silver. And that also means that we unlocked... Hagen does. Been unlocked. All right, let's do some exploring and then let's get some sleep, man. It's kind of overrated, but I mean, at least during beach season. In the winter, I hibernate a little bit more, but uh, beach season? No, 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 no. Now I have like taco weight. I have to. Uh, work off so this is a good thing oh we're not done I didn't say dumb I said done we might be dumb I tell you man you gotta love this to do this and uh, I highly recommend because I know there's people who watch this channel who do not have a metal detector get a metal detector for the love of God get a metal detector you could even write me on my Facebook page ask me some questions uh, I'll you know, I'll tell you what I think. Timmy. Meh. That's a quarter. Zinkin. Well, it's a beaten up Zinkin, but you better believe I'm digging that signal. Timmy. Zinkin. That's a quarter. <laughs> Love it. Yep, it's a nickel. Sometimes rings could ring up at that. Yeah, gold rings, that is. Well, this is uh, a zipper, but uh, it actually is looking pretty old. Then again, my light is about to go out, and... Uh, I really can't see stuff. Neither can you. <laughs> it's a dime. It's a quarter. It's like 3 a.m., but it's a quarter. Man, the uh, mosquitoes are having a snack of me right now. Meryl has been unlocked. <gasps> I eat bugs. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. No clue what this is. It's magnetic though. I see a stone 
stuck to it. Look at that. Um, oh, it's a can opener. Okay, we got a can opener. Zinkin! Great signal. Yunk. Here we go. I think we got silver. I gotta check it, obviously, but uh, got a big cut. You can't see anything. Just take my word for it. We got a big cut. Let's check the base of the wall. Yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. <laughs> Let me get the little light I have left. Hold on. This is the most telling quarter that we have. Look at this side. Green push-in quarter. We, we had a serious push-in. Because we walk back here, there is a cut. Just take my word for it. Sorry, I can't give you a visual. Dimmy. Gorgeous zinking with a stone stuck to it. Yeah. Meh. D May in the beach scoop. It's another D May in the beach scoop. Yeah, it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a dimmy. You see that red blinking light? That's my uh, headlamp about to die. But, got good news. Look at the sky. It's turning color now. All right, folks. I just uh, outlasted my headlamp. So uh, that's a call to go home. I'm not sure if that's daylight yet. Uh, but well, we did pretty well. Let's count it up. No, it wasn't daylight. Uh, it's still dark out. So maybe I'll get an hour of sleep. Oh, I feel so useless. Yeah, I'm a wuss. I only made it till uh, 4.09. Meh. Yeah, we're not done. Ah, no way. So I got contacted again about a ring recovery. And uh, I'm going up to Peekskill, New York to try to retrieve a wedding ring. I got some sleep this morning after my whole nighter last night and uh, more metal detecting, man. Th this is how I want to live my life. This is, this is happy Merrill talking right now. You know, the more that I do this, the happier I am. I'm going to be submersed in water. There is a plot line with this. Now, the only detector that I could currently use that is in my current inventory is the Nocta Macro Amphibio. And that's because it has uh, headphones. Now, I bought the Equinox 600. I never got the headphones. And it is notorious for flooding, actually. That's one of the problems with the Equinox. So you really have to uh, extra seal that. Now, my detector that I have used for underwater recoveries uh, in the past is the White's Beach Hunter 300, and I lent that to my cousin in Florida. So that's not in my current inventory. And to tell you the truth, I was uh, really pondering going to a metal detecting store and uh, getting, a, uh, uh, getting another detector. But that would have been stupid because I have something in my inventory. Um, Having that said, I think over the next year, I'm not done buying detectors because I want to launch a website that can create a accurate comparison because a lot of the people that make the supposed comparisons of detectors, they don't use them. They don't have a practical use application. And it's one thing to read the specs on a detector. It's another thing to use it and say yay or nay and really make an educated decision on that. So I, I'm, I'm headed up to Peekskill right now. It, it is a trek and uh, we're gonna see if we could recover that ring and we're gonna see how the Amphibio does fully submersed underwater and I'm gonna make sure to keep the cap on the back this time because last time I had it in the water, uh, it, uh, it shut down because it got wet. So I have to make sure that the cap on the back is, uh, is fully on. This channel is a venture that is somewhere between love and business. And if you think about it, any time that you choose to go into business, it should be in something that you love. So, so far this year, I've pulled uh, $1,644.14 uh, in total revenue and that's up. Last year I pulled uh, $1,541.63 and we're just at the halfway point of the year and we're already on top of that. So I have revenue that is growing for this. Uh, more people are watching my channel, more people are subscribing. And in order for this to keep growing, I need to answer some questions. And those questions in my mind are a lot about equipment. Everybody wants to use the best 
piece of equipment and often turn to YouTube to find out what it is. And there is opportunity in that. And there also is love in that. Guitarists, they, they invest in guitars. Detectorists, we invest in detectors. And what I'm going to have to do is reinvest uh, at least some of what I have earned in order to keep this channel growing. I want to answer questions. I want to answer your questions. Most importantly, I want to answer the ones in here that I'm curious about. And I think that'll keep this channel fresh. Hey, Merrill, why do you do night detecting? Hmm. Oh, because it's 98 freaking degrees. All right. So let me tell you a little bit about this ring recovery. The person who dropped it thinks that he knows the spot. It was his wife's ring and his phone. And he thinks he knows exactly where he dropped it, but he tried to recover it and could not find it there, which tells me uh, something as big as a phone you would have felt. So I wonder if that was the, uh, the place that they dropped it. I'm going to get there and I'm going to further clarify, but uh, if, it's, if, if they could give me a place, uh, I have a good shot at it, uh, but if not, we need more people involved and I will just uh, call in the scavengers, because, uh, you know, somebody calls me for a ring, we're, we're giving our very best, so, uh, you know, if I don't get this, we call in the scavengers. You know, believe it or not, there's a town up here called Croutons on the Hudson. That's pretty cool. That was my favorite part of any salad. Man, this was a long drive. I just peed for a minute straight. Sorry, too much information, but it's true. All right, back to the ring story. So uh, there was jet skis involved also. I don't really know too much about jet skiing. I, I mean, I'm guessing that uh, due to the suffix in the name, it's a Polish boat. So maybe during the recovery, we're, we're gonna play some polka music. I love polka music. That, that, that's my, you know, I know I do rap and all, you know, that fun stuff, but uh, polka music is so dorky, it's awesome. So yeah, during the recovery, I think I'm gonna play some polka music in honor of jet skis and the great crafts from Poland. All right, we're good to go. We are waiting for the people to show up to show me where this was dropped. Yeah, that was, uh, the conditions were pretty tough. I had mud past my knees. I was sinking. I wasn't sure how far I was going to sink either. Uh, and as soon as I got in, I was like, oh man, quicksand. But uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. I was planning on getting the whole recovery on the underwater GoPro, but as you can see, uh, the water was murky. I, I mean, we're talking inches of visibility. So even if you scuba you, you it, it would have been a tough recovery. But uh, I think this song will capture the essence of this recovery. Swing, swing, knee, bling, wedding ring, in the drink, swamp thing, while I sing, polka mumble rap. Jet ski, mud to the knees, work like bumblebee, ask Jeeves, sing please, polka mumble rap. Just me, no trees, temp greater than 90 degrees, damn hot, no breeze, polka mumble rap. Quick sand, soft land, fat man, sink to Japan, sun burn, no tan, polka mumble rap. In mud pit, polka mumble rap. Dig like this, polka mumble rap. No targets, polka mumble rap. Ring don't fit, polka mumble rap. Can't stand losing, must find a ring. Bare hand, nothing, polka mumble rap. Shit, dude, bad mood, flip flops, feel glued, step on seafood, polka mumble rap. True water blue, please, dude. It's brown like poop. Polka mumble rap. Bottles, cans, trip to fan, concrete, not sand, hot like frying pan. Polka mumble rap. Found the foam. Polka mumble rap. Can't go home. Polka mumble rap. Infinite B O. Polka mumble rap. Just hates. 
So at this point, uh, I had found the phone for them, like yeah. I found a Gabby behind me, yeah. and I had gotten to the bottom of the story. Uh, he dropped the phone, actually his wife dropped the phone, and he went in after the phone, and he lost the ring when he went in after the phone. So I knew for sure that this ring was in the area. No way in heck I was not leaving until we got that ring. It took him a long time to find the ring. So let's just speed up the video while I consume potato. Huh? All right, I'm going in with the Equinox because uh, I just, uh, I don't trust the Amphibio. Uh, I mean, we found the cell phone with it, but, uh, you know, I, I want to give this my best shot. And five minutes later. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Yay. Thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> yes. Best feeling in the world, man. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my god, you are the man. Thank you. Yes. It negates sadness and regret. It's like, okay, got it. Yes. Thank you. It's gorgeous. I don't blame you for being sad. I don't have to be sad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yay! Awesome. Anything you need. We did it. You know, I got a good problem. I got some really, really talented detectorist friends. And the other times that we have called in the scavengers to uh, to get something, uh, you know, that was lost, that is valuable. Uh, Tracy did it the first time and Lou did it last time. This was my first ring recovery that I pulled this here. Yes, I had a part in the other ones, but uh, to physically pull it. I was happy to do that. Really, it doesn't matter who does. It matters giving it back to the person because that's the best feeling in the world. You can't replace history. You can't replace the moment, you know, the time that you spent with it. So, you know, you, you can get a replacement, but I, I'm telling you, there's something really special about giving somebody a piece of their history back. And that's exactly what happened. And I am absolutely thrilled. By the way, Guess what that ring ringed up as? Rung up as. 192021. That's the same as a Zinkin. So we have a very teachable moment happening today. So the two rings that were pulled in this video both rang up in the Zinkin range. That will give you some something to think about next time that you're at a beach and you're like, oh, this is a Zinkin. This is nothing. I don't need to pull this. Maybe you do. Okay, and I, I believe me, I've walked away from my share of zinc and signals because they're no fun to pull, and you, you, you know how I feel about that. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. I, I'm, I'm already. I have one foot out the door right now because uh, I, I'm a metal detecting madman. I love it, and uh, I just want to remind you. I've been saying this at the end of every video lately. If you are one of those people who are on the fence. Like, uh, should I get a metal detector? Shouldn't I get a metal detector? Hell yes, you should get a metal detector. Go get a metal detector. Peace.